right, it's after lunch. We gotta get going again. Get up there and finish smoothing out that area. Sometimes this thing grinds when I go into high gear. Cause I, I got this from my younger brother and he flipped it one time and it bent the, it kind of bent the frame a little bit actually. And the shifter is bent. So it has a hard time getting into high gear. So that's why it grinds sometimes. But this thing's a beast. It takes off, man. This thing's an 800, so it's definitely no slouch. I'm just gonna park up here again, out of the way. This is what I did yesterday. Just clean this up. I gotta go from the top and finish that off. So this is gonna be my drainage ditch coming out of here from the, from this whole pad. And there's a little tiny stream that comes out right there. So <clears throat> this is the back side of the pad and kind of the road that's gonna go up to the back of the property. Uh, I gotta taper that off a little bit better and then clean up this entry to the ditch right here and probably rip this down a little bit more. Um, and then just kind of make a swell right here so it all just drains right out and into the, the mainstream down in here and down and out of the property. So. That's what I was working on yesterday on the bottom section here. So I kind of want to get it like that where it's more tapered off and not so steep on the sides. Uh, it looks more natural that way. I don't know if I can even get in here and do that though. Uh, I can't get the right angle. So if I can get it from the top, I'll do it. I might be able to do it from the top, but I got to get up in there and work that first. So I'm going to wait a little bit for that. I got to start working down here to get grass seed down and all in this area and I, I made a little uh, terrace right there just to hide a bunch of rocks that I had and make that little spot usable or I put some fruit trees there yeah I went into the stream yesterday I'll give you guys a little tour this is the stream bed here so I cleaned this out this is pretty much as far as I could go uh, I want to clean this out here, but I can't reach it. I might be able to get a little bit from the top from up there, but that's pretty far up. So uh, I'm probably just going to move it. I mean, I could come in here by hand and move. I could probably move all of these actually by hand. Just maybe stack them right under this boulder here. That's what I'll probably do. And then... Back here, probably just do the same thing, take the big stuff out. There's my little pathway across. I mean, there's three small streams that comes out, one right there, one right there, and I think there's another one on the side here. It's either there or there. I can't really tell because the everything got kind of overgrown and I can't see where it's actually coming out. I actually gotta go into, into the forest and and follow it back and then I can find where it's coming out. But it's gonna come down here somewhere so it's gonna make some pathways here and it'll erode this a little bit but that's some thick bedrock right there. So this little bridge area where I made so I can get across from my side by side should hold up pretty good. Well, this is the stream. And I'll show you guys in the summertime when it's flowing, take some footage and then we'll, we'll see where it cuts its channel so I kind of filled it in a bit. 
and we're gonna see where it goes so it'll probably come through here and this is the spot where I don't really know what it's gonna do I mean it's either gonna well, let me, it's either gonna come this way and take a turn down or it's gonna just shoot right through here so I'm thinking it's gonna come over here because this is the low spot and then it's gonna shoot down into its channel over here somewhere so this is kind of the area I can't, hard to tell where it's gonna go it's pretty flat now that I filled it in so that I don't know I mean it it might just go right in the middle here this looks like the low spot it might just shoot through here and then follow the little swell that I that I'm making right down in here and then it's gonna shoot out the property so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. I mean, that's, it won't take long to recut its channel in. So, pad's looking good. I'm almost done with that. I'm gonna get back to that towards the end. So, it's looking good. I mean, I just gotta clean up the bottom a little bit. Some rocks that fell uh, a little too far and I couldn't reach it. And I gotta pack this, this bottom area. But this is packed nice. I mean, you can see. So this is how you pack a hill or pack a, a slope on a terrace. You know, that's packed tight. So that's nice, you know, it's, and I'm gonna cover this with dirt so you can plant some, some erosion control plants on there. So that's how you do it. I mean, I'm not done with the bottom yet. So this section I didn't pack, I couldn't reach it, but up here, you know, I packed that, so. So that's nice. I mean, all I'm gonna do is just fill it in with fines and, and get it baby butt smooth like the rest of it. So I'm starting to do the finish work on this section. I had dirt over here, so you can see. So that's what I'll do to the whole thing. It's all gonna be dirt like that. So I'm just gonna cover all that there. So I got a little bit down here. I gotta clean this section up. And work on this. I got to remember to get this widow maker out of this tree. I mean, it's not that big, but it just doesn't look good. I might be able to reach it if I get close enough, but that's pretty high up. So we'll see. If not, I can have Judah climb up there and get it. <laughs> He's a little ninja. He's crazy. All right. Let's get going again. I'm gonna finish off this area a little bit. I might. I'm probably just gonna start working on the bottom of this pad here just to get this clean up. So there's a rocky outcrop right here that I'm not sure what to do with. I don't really want to have to come down here and hammer this. This is actually one of the only spots on the property that had this rocky outcrop here and it's a big freaking boulder i mean it's it's just part of the bedrock here sticking out so not sure what to do with it i think i just might leave it and it's not really in the way or anything so we'll see um if i have time i'll come down here and hammer it out and just smooth this out but again it's not in the way so i think i might just leave it I'm going to clean up all along the, the bottom here, pack it all in tight, and get it done because I got to put grassy down here and I don't want to go back and forth here to pack it after I put the grassy down and tear it all up again. So I got to get this section done. So I'm going to probably do that and then work on getting this grub onto the big pile and smoothing out this dirt right here. Uh, I'm not going to really mess with that too much. I'm gonna, I gotta go pick the rocks. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And after I'm picking all the rocks out of here, then, and I'm gonna do that section two in the front, then I'll come back and give it a final kind of final touches on smoothing it out. So, see how it goes. I mean, it should go pretty quick. I mean, this kind of works pretty easy. All right, let's get going.